Hello YouTube viewers, my name is Jose and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best Syria tweaks available for the iPhone 5 and iPod Touch 5 generation. So let's get started. First we have Unfold. What Unfold is, is an animation that's added to your lock screen. Let me show you. Instead of sliding to unlock, you simply unfold it. Pretty neat tweak and it's available for free on Cydia. So go ahead and download it. Next we have Torch. What Torch is, is a shortcut to the iPhones or iPod Touches flash on the lock screen. So let me show you guys. You see that little icon right there? If you touch it, it turns on the LED. There you go. To turn it back off, you simply press it again. There you go. And it's available for free on Cydia, so go ahead and download it. Next, we have Bolt. What it does is it removes the battery icon. And instead, just shows the percentage. And when you plug in your iPhone or iPad Touch, See, it shows a little bolt instead of the icon. Pretty neat in case you want to get rid of that icon and it's free on Cydia. Okay, let me disconnect this. All right, next we have Cascade. What Cascade is, it's a tweak for the dock. It adds a cover flow effect to the dock. It's pretty nice. Makes it look more fancy. And it's free on Cydia. Next, we have Barrel. What Barrel is, it adds an animation to the home screen. You can see animation. There's different animations available. Go to barrel, page zoom, icon scatter, there's many animations available, you could pick a, the random setting, and it gives you a random animation every time you slide to the right or left. It's a paid app, but there's some repos that offer it for free. So it's up to you if you want to pay or get it for free. Okay, and that's it. Next, we have Color Keyboard. As the name suggests it, it's a theme for the keyboard. As you can see, my keyboard is blue. You could change it to different colors. Let me show you. There's different themes, pink, black. There's a lot of themes available in Cydia. Let me add this one. Uh, Silver Spring. As you can see, it has changed to a yellow color keyboard. It's pretty nice. I'm not sure if it's paid since I got it for free, but it's on the Cita App Store and go on Google, get some repos and get it. I highly recommend it. That's a nice touch to the interface. Next, we have Fake Clock Up. What it does is it makes your iPhone seem faster without actually overclocking the processor or any of those things. It does this by speeding up the animations. As you can see the animations go way faster. When you open an app, boom. It's pretty nice. It makes the iPhone look faster and it makes things faster too. It's free on the Cydia store so just get it. Next we have flag paint. 
What Flackpane does, it adds a color to the notifications on the top. Let me go ahead and show you. As you can see, it adds color to match the icon of the app. So for iTunes, it shows a pink color pretty nice and it adds a uh, cool effect to the notifications it's paid but I got it for free if you want if you guys want the repos just comment the app you want and I'll provide the repos to get the app for free okay next we have camera spelled with the K what this tweak does it's a widget for the notification center you can see it right there. It has front camera and rear camera. What this trick does, it allows you to access the camera through the notification center. We play a rear camera. Oops. Rear. Oh my god. Stupid weather. There you go. As you can see, you can access the camera. Front. Pretty nice, and it's for free on CD. Next, we have landscape videos. What this does, it makes every video you look for go landscape automatically. Let me show you. Pick this one. As you can see, I have the rotation lock on, and it still goes to landscape. It's pretty neat. It works on every app that plays a video. Facebook, YouTube, Safari, anywhere. And it's for free on Cydia. Okay. Next, we have NC Colors. What this does, it adds a color to the notification center window. NC Colors. As you can see, mine is transparent. You could pick different colors. Pick, we'll put random on. This pink. Green. Pretty nice effect, and it's free on Cydia. Next. We have NC settings. This is a classic. It adds a bunch of toggles to the notification center. As you can see, there's Wi Fi, brightness, volume, rotation lock, and the power for restraining, shutting off, or restarting the phone. It adds also a lot of other toggles. As you can see. Oops. Okay. It is for free on Cydia and I highly recommend it. It adds a bunch of functionality to the notifi notification center. All right, next we have Spring to Mice. What Spring to Mice is is a bunch of teaming shortcuts for the Springboard. It allows you to customize almost anything on the iPhone. The dock, lock screen icons, notification center. As you can see, I have more icons on my screen. And I did that with Spring to Mice. I resized the icons and made them smaller. That's one of the functionality it has. It is paid it's a paid app, but there's some repos that have it for free. So if you like it, go ahead and check it out. Okay. Hold up, let me turn off the light. Okay, there you go.
Next, we have Torch. Wait, wait a minute. We already did Torch. Using the list. <laughs> okay, skip that one. We have Zeppelin. Zeppelin adds an um, icon to the career name. So you see I have an Apple icon. There's plenty of other icons you could pick from. We have the Android, Windows, Beats, Batman. See it right there. Transformers, Optimus Prime. Pretty sure it's free. I don't remember. But it's a pretty cool tweak. Go ahead and check it out. Next, we have Bridge. What Bridge does, it allows you to import any song into your music app. So let's say you have a third party app that allows you to download mp3s. You simply find the folder. Oh, wrong one. BMP3. Pandora. And you can see all the songs. Tap it. And you can import it to the library by just tapping this. Now if you go to the library, it will be there. It is a paid app. So go ahead and check it out. Next we have Pandora Downloader right here, that blue icon. What it does, it allows you to download songs straight from Pandora. It gives you limited skips and no ads. Let me demonstrate. Skip. 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 As you can see, I can skip as much as I want. And it shows no apps. To download a song, tap that and you save the song. You could use this with Bridge to Put the songs into your music library, which is pretty cool. So go ahead and check it out. Hey, okay, next we have Byte SMS. Byte SMS is a messaging app that replaces your default messaging app. You can change the icon to the messaging icon. Tap it. You can add themes to it. So you can see I have this wooden team. What I like about it is that you can reply fast to any message without going into the application. Quick reply, quick compose. And it looks way better than the default app for messaging. It's a paid app. It's about I think a dollar or two. So go ahead and check it out. Okay, next we have five icon dock. As you can see right there, I have five icons. It's simple, it just adds an extra icon to the dock. Pretty nice. Next we have tab plus. What it does, it adds a limited tabs to Safari. So New page, new page, new page, new page, new page, new page, new page. As you can see, I have more than 10 um, tabs open. It's a free Cydia tweak, so check it out. Finally, we have ProTube extension. What this does, it allows you to download songs using the YouTube app. Okay. 
you see right there it has a download section so let's go find a video pick this one you can see the controls right there it allows you to change the quality of the video and to download the video you can pick the quality and you can also get the audio only let's pick this one and it starts downloading the video pretty neat app if you like downloading videos for offline viewing and there you go thanks for watching subscribe comment I'll be providing links for the repos if you guys want them and thanks for watching